Hey, hey, let's go ahead and get started with a love reading for you. All right, let's, we just got four cards just blew out. We got flirt, romantic feelings, stay optimistic about your love life, healing family issues, center of the reading, reconciliation. Okay, spirit, please show me for the collective. What do we got? Heart to heart conversations. And we've got wedding calling in your soulmate and attraction bottom of the deck we've got soulmate okay yes this is your soulmate all right so i feel like this is someone you've already dealt with because we have the reconciliation in the center of the reading i feel like there is someone here that you know maybe tried to keep things really light-hearted between the two of you um even though they had romantic feelings I feel like, you know, this person is very optimistic about this relationship when it comes to getting back together. They know that they need to come in and have a conversation with you if they ever want this reconciliation with you. Okay, so I feel like right now um, they're trying to heal something from their past, maybe when it came from their childhood. It could have been something that was instilled with them within them from their father because i am getting the father energy maybe there was something that went uh happened between um their mother and their father and that's what kept them from really um coming into union with you um i do feel like this person is trying to call you back in okay because they do feel like i'm getting the one that got away okay and i feel for you you're just kind of in the moment at this time you are just like you know just enjoying life you've kind of moved on i think that for a lot of you you know you still have a place in your heart for this individual but i feel like until they're actually willing to get serious about you know taking this relationship to the next level i feel like you've kind of just pulled yourself back i feel like regardless you're optimistic that you know things are going to work out regardless whether it's with this person or with someone else so you're just kind of giving it up to the universe, giving it up to God right now. And, you know, you're kind of out just doing your own thing. I don't see you really worrying too much about this, but I do feel like you're going to unexpectedly hear from this person. I feel like what they're doing right now is, you know, um, there's they want a reconciliation with you, but it's almost like they're kind of talking themselves in and out of it. Okay. Um, they're not quite sure like how to get this back going and it's like once they get the balls so to speak to come back and talk to you it's almost like they talk themselves out of it all right way too many cards spirit what advice do you have for this situation we've got one card out we got Scorpio Scorpio has an intuitive nature that allows them to understand other people's feelings on a deep level they often define their relationship early on even in the first encounter and conversation with a potential partner there's no doubt that they like to get deep once they have connected with the person they like they will seek a commitment with them their heart is bottomless and their intense rapturous vibe means they will love unconditionally just don't irritate scorpio as their stinger can come out when they are displeased so you could be dealing with a scorpio or have somebody who has a lot of scorpio in their chart or you yourself could have Scorpio in your chart. And what do we got? Increased attraction. I feel like a lot of the time we, you know, people, you know, when we walk away from someone, the, the attraction increases because, and especially with a Scorpio, there's that, you know, intense desire. Even though there's, you know, Scorpios can also have um, a way of not trusting, you know, they can, you know, because of, you know, things that maybe they went through from childhood. So they might not trust, so to speak. I feel like for a lot of you, maybe you're working on healing your own family issues because of things that you've went through yourself. Um, and maybe that's kind of where your focus has been led is to heal uh, whatever has gone on in your life. Um, and, and working on that before you're even ready to fully commit because, you know, wedding here is about full commitment. Um, so it says increased attraction, perform this spell when you need light or relight 
or when you need to light or relight the flame in a relationship or elevate your connection with someone. Um, dab honeysuckle oil, a known aphrodisiac, on your wrists or behind your ears. Do this for a few weeks, and when your partner or love interest comes close, speak affirming, loving, sensual words. The combination of the captivating scent and alluring words will generate greater attraction, pulling you together like magnets. So I feel like maybe this person is doing some type of affirmations or maybe even some type of spell work to get you to come back in, or maybe you're the one who's doing that. Be careful what you wish for because you might just get it. For some of you, you're like, I don't want to reconcile with this person. But I do see in the center of this reading that reconciliation is on the table. And I am kind of getting where, normally I wouldn't say this, but I am getting where you need to hear this individual out. Maybe in the past you tried talking and they weren't listening and now they're wanting you to, to listen to them. I feel like it's a vice versa now because you're kind of in this place where you just don't really give a shit anymore. So I feel like for some of you, if this person does come back through, because obviously this isn't going to be for everybody, um, you know, and all of us are on different timelines, um, that this could come back through. Uh, for some of you, make sure that this person isn't married to someone else, okay? Um, and maybe they decide that they want to, you know, work it out with their family. And maybe that's what they did in the past is they were like, you know, I need to give my, my family another shot, you know, and so they kind of left you out in the cold. I do feel like there's a lot of love between the two of you. I don't think that that has ever really gone away regardless of how much time and space has been between the two of you and regardless of what has happened between the two of you. I do feel like there is this air of, um, um, there's this, this drawing to one another. It's almost like the two of you, no matter how far you go, grow apart, you're still always connected and you're always looking back. I see somebody looking back, looking back at the past. Um, I do feel like somebody is going to get a text message, a phone call, an email. Um, and I feel like this person's wondering if it's too late um, but I feel like, you know, anything that is meant for you will never pass you by. You've heard me say that over and over and over again. What is the, what is this heart to heart conversation? What is it that they're wanting to talk to you about? Okay. We've got a couple cards out. Psychic connection. Yeah. Your communication goes beyond mere words. So we talk about the heart to heart conversation and it is talking about this conversation. It's almost like, I feel like they're trying to talk to you. Um, you know, through the 5D, you could be dreaming about this person. Um, you could, I feel like it's, you know, it's almost like you guys, when you were together, it's like you guys just knew how the other person felt and without words. And then we've got magnetism. There is a gravitational pull to each other. And I feel like they are feeling very pulled to come in and talk to you. Let's go ahead and look at the reconciliation spirit. What is this reconciliation? Wow. Healing the connection. Your romance will transform your life. So they, they feel like, you know, you could be a healer of some sorts or you could just be very healing towards them. I feel they, they really want to talk to you about healing the connection. And then we've got bonding. As you get to know each other, you discover many things in common. So I feel like there's a lot, you know, you guys do have a lot in common. Oh my God, and look at this proposal. Your romance is about to evolve and level up. So maybe for some of you, you know, you've kind of sat on the fence. Maybe there, you know, was talk in the past of, you know, uh, are we going to take this to another level? And I feel like it was kind of on the fence. I feel like this person really did feel drawn to you. And I feel like, you know, I, I do feel like they are trying to call you back in. There's this burning desire, flames of passion ignite. Okay. So I am getting that. Oh, you know what? Hold on one second. My computer is about to turn itself off. So let's plug this back in. Sorry about that, guys. Well, maybe that's what it is. There needs to be more energy put back into this relationship. And maybe it's because it died itself out. 
but there is this burning desire. I feel like there was a lot of passion between the two of you. Let's look at the wedding card. Wow, as soon as I said that, a bunch of cards just flew out. So the wedding card says natural evolution. Let the situation unfold naturally, okay? So I feel like, you know, the natural evolution of this relationship, I almost feel like they kind of want to come in and just tell you, like, I, I, it's you. You're what I've wanted this whole time. Physical connection, the sacred union of bodies to becoming one, okay? So I do feel like there's a lot of passion between the two of you. And then we've got falling in love, sudden feelings that is, um, that this is the one, okay? And I feel like now they're like, wait a minute, holy crap, I know who it is. Unexpected connection, opposites attract. And you guys could very well, um, you know, be different than one another. What do we got with this calling in your soulmate? Best friend. Friendship is vital to your romance. Feelings deepen and blossom. Um, yeah, they're calling their, they see you as their best friend. They see you as somebody that they can trust. They see you as somebody that is, is definitely, definitely their soulmate. And so they are trying to bring you back in. And for some of you, uh, there's just this intense, uh, this intense, like pull to bring you back to them. And it says time apart, a time of separation. Yeah. They don't want to be away from you anymore. I feel like, um, they have used this time apart to really analyze like how they feel about you and they want to bring you back in. And what do we got here? We got two other cards that flip. They want to let go of the past. They want to clear the energy to allow more love into this relationship. So they are wanting to clear the relation or clear the energy and love language is gift giving tokens of reciprocity hold cherished memories. So they, maybe there was, you know, this, there wasn't the reciprocity of give and take. And maybe that's why for some of you, you walked away from this relationship. Let's see what the attraction is. I feel like for a lot of you, you're, you're not going to make a decision right off. I think that you're going to take your time before you make this decision of getting back together with this individual if you choose to. Everybody's going to choose something different. So tease. The energy is fun and lighthearted but uncertain, okay? So I feel like maybe you might, they might feel like you're just kind of teasing them. They're not quite sure how you're going to interact with them. And it says signs and clues. The universe is talking to you. And then we've got Forever Young, a song of youthful playfulness. So, yeah, I feel like, you know, you're going to take some time and, you know, before you decide on whether or not, once you hear from this person, on whether or not you actually want to come back into union with them. What do we got here? If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind, for the heart is the gateway to the soul. So it's asking you to listen to your heart um, and not your mind, okay? Because our mind can play tricks on us. What does this individual want to say? Everything I do, I do for our future, okay? What else does this person want to say to you? Uh, I've never felt a love like this before. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing here. And then we've got, I want to be with you. Your smile makes me melt. I hear that they've told you that. You know, you're, I love your smile. Your smile is, you know, they love it when you smile. And what if you don't accept me for who I really am? That's their own insecurities talking. And, you know, they have to get over that themselves. There's nothing you can do about that. And then we have one that flipped up. Will you ever forgive me? And I can feel you pulling away. Have you moved on? So, yeah, they're feeling you pulling away. Bottom of the deck, I need you back in my life, okay? They are seeing the importance of this relationship. They are seeing where this relationship could have gone. I don't think that they've ever stopped having feelings for you, even if you find that they were flirting with other people or, you know, you know, just looking outside of the relationship. You know, sometimes, you know, when, when we feel like, it's sad because they, you know, a lot of the time people try to replace you and then they realize like you're not replaceable. You know, you really left a stain on this individual and they can't replace you regardless. And I feel like it's only getting stronger and stronger. And I feel like the pool, that magnetic pool 
is getting stronger for them. And I do feel like you will end up hearing from this individual once they get through whatever healing that they need to um, when it comes to, you know, their family dynamics. So I'm going to go ahead and leave, leave this reading here, you guys. Um, you know, take what resonates, discard the rest. If this is not your reading, then, you know, um, maybe next time I'll definitely tap into your energy. Anyway, you guys, I love you all so much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. It does help it grow. Uh, even if you don't share the video, if you just click share, it actually does help. You don't have to share it with anybody. Just go where it says share, click that, and it'll actually put me in the algorithm regardless. So, um, you know, do what you do. Check me out over on Facebook, Instagram, and Rumble under the Footsteps to Peace. And I will chat with you again soon. Take care.